What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC. Today I have a couple packages to unbox for you guys today. Um, hopefully you guys have been liking the unboxing videos because I think including this one that will be five or six unboxing videos in a row. Um, there are some reviews that will be coming out probably within this week. Uh, I have three or four pass around knives that will have to be sent off to you know more channels. Um, but you know, unboxing videos are quick, easy, fun to make. Um, they're my favorite to make. They're my favorite to watch for other people. Um, you know, different night channels and stuff like that. Just because it's it's easy. You know, it's you, you get people's first reactions. Um, so I hope you guys have been enjoying them. Um, but without further ado, we're going to get into these two packages. My unboxing knife today is the MBK Sea Otter. Um, this is a knife that I've had in for probably about a month or so. Um, and I did not do a video on this yet. I... Um, I ended up buying this, um, you know, I'll talk about the whole, you know, the whole reason behind buying this in my full review on this knife, which will be coming probably within the next week or two. Um, but when I got it in, I think I end up having, oh, if you guys can hear that, it's my fiance running the garbage disposal. Um, but I ended up getting this in on, I think a weekend and I was just super duper busy and I didn't have time to sit down and film it. So I just said, screw it. I'm just going to unbox it. Um, but I've had this in for about a month and I really like it. Uh, fantastic size. You know, I like smaller type knives and it's about three inches on the blade. Um, just really good ergos, just nice, simple, clean. Um, I like the kind of the working finish on it. Uh, I'm getting used to the the kind of hydraulic feel on the washers, um, you know, magna cut, just a really nice knife. So this will be in my unboxing knife today. And I have one package coming in from JD for EDC and I have one package coming in from um, work, work Knife Balance. If I remember, I'll try to link both of those channels down below. They are both in the um, YouTube pass around um, Instagram chat that we have. And one of these, I believe, is a Devo Knife Stout V2 prototype. And another one is, or the other one is um, the new Vosti Corsair um, with the, uh, the crossbar or access style lock. So we're gonna get into the Corsair first. Kind of leave some tension um, and some anticipation for the Stout V2, which I'm excited for. I've heard really good things about that. Pop into there. Let's get the sticker up here. JD480C. So I'll go in my sticker collection. Oh, there's actually two. Um, stickers in here. JD for EDC, have a knife day. I uh, love his little logo or his little uh, slogan there. I got lots of peanuts, which I'll put back here in the box. So those can go out with the knife when I go to send it. Comes in a Vosti box, which I'm not used to. Um, the last couple of Vosti that I've purchased and checked out have all come in like the, like the real nice, like, um, has a sleeve and it's like a, uh, a metal or a steel tin and you get a pouch and you get a patch and stickers and it's really nice um, sort of presentation for the price you pay for Vosteed. But I see that they are maybe stepping down some of their budget models, which is a lot of their models to this box, which is fine. Um, right here on the back, there's actually a picture of the knife, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Vosteed Corsair Nitro V Stonewash Blade brought on my car to handle. So right there. Take this apart. All right, so you still do get a patch, which is nice. You get a microfiber. Uh, and you get a little bit of paperwork. You get a Corsair, which is a ship um, sticker, which is also pretty cool. Um, and then also here is a little baggie with looks like to be a backspacer and some extra hardware. So you still do get, you know, a lot of the same things just in a box and not a tin. So you're still getting a lot for... For what you pay for, I think. Um, and while I have the knife out, and I'm thinking, thinking about price, um, I did not think to look what these, um, can't spell today, what these went for or what they're going for. Really nice size, I'm liking that right away. Okay, so these go for $69. Um, oh, my camera dropped. I need to get a better uh, tripod. This thing is very gimmicky. I've had this the entire time I've you know had my channel so far. It's so like two years, but here's a Corsair. You guys can see crossbar lock, brown micarta with a, it looks to be brass pivot collar, reversible clip filler tab right there, or not even a filler tab, a section to put the clip in. Um, same over there. 
the same old Vossi clip that they always use. Dual thumb studs, it is centered. Flick it out. A little bit of blade play, but it's locked up pretty tight. Um, I do like the blade shape on this. I think it's very intriguing. It kind of reminds me of like an Emerson style blade, but not, you know, to that level. Um, but of course you have kind of a little thumb ramp right here with some jimping that drops down. Nice thin edge. Of course it says Voss seed right there. Uh, Nitro V and Corsair right there. Like I said, no blade play. And this, um, so right away, has good drop, pretty good action. Um, but the first thing I notice is the amount that these thumbs, or uh, sorry, um, crossbar lock like studs stick out of the micarta, so you get a really nice purchase. And this is probably, this has probably the most amount of tension I've ever felt on a crossbar lock knife, which is a little bit weird, um, you know, to experience because I was not expecting that. Most of the time you can just pull them back very, very easily, but this actually requires a little bit of, a little bit of muscle. Um, and I, I like that. I don't know if that helps with maybe the detent when it, when it opens. Um, that's something maybe I'll have to ask a few of the guys, but that's, I like that. Uh, it's a little bit different, like I said, haven't really felt that before, that's I failed. Um, you can thumb flick it pretty easily, middle finger flick it. Um, we'll try index finger flick. Yep, you can do that. Um, but that definitely takes a little bit of, you know, a little bit of muscle compared to even like the, the drop bear that I just got in or the Kaiser Escort. Those, you know, as good as those knives are, it's just a different sort of feeling um, with how, how tension, you know, how much tension this crossbar lock has. So that's, that's really intriguing. Um, I was not expecting that at all, but um, yeah, Ergo's very, very comfortable. You kind of have a little bit of a poon area right up here for your thumb to land. Um, you know, not a huge knife. It says three two point uh, two five inch, so three and a quarter inch blade. Um, it fits really good in the handle or in the hand. Um, blade to handle ratio is really nice. You have internal milling, so it's nice and lightweight. My card has a nice feel to it. It's kind of kind of dry right now, but I feel like once someone carries this and gets used to it and gets gets oils on their hands um, or their their oils of their hands on the scales, it's gonna you know um, you know kind of get soft and uh, a little bit more supple, but I like this. Um, you're probably not, you know, not my, not the, my most favorite uh, Voss seed model I've checked out so far. I think the raccoon still has that title, um, but I like it. It's definitely, you know, I, I really didn't have any expectations coming into this specific knife, um, but it definitely surprised me with how ergonomic it is. And uh, like I said, that, that tension on the crossbar lock definitely um, also surprised me. So that is the Vosti Corsair. Corsair, Corsair, um, however you pronounce it. Now let's get into the Devo Knives Stout V2 prototype. Um, definitely a mouthful. So of course, Devo Knives, you guys all know and love, is the brainchild company of uh, Kevin over at Left EDC and Colin Mason-Pierre over at CM Knife Designs. Um, they have you know come together to create this um, very, very popular, and I would say very, very successful so far within their first year of, um, you know, doing knives company. So there is a work-life balance sticker. A couple more work-life balance stickers, which I think I just got in a package from him. I think my last knife or two that I've gotten from him might, or came in from via pass around might've come from him, but here is the Devo knives box. You guys have seen plenty of these types of boxes on my channel before. Um, and I used to have the Stout V1, like the original Stout. The, you know, the Stout is the, I don't want to say it's the flagship model, but it's the first model that Devo ever came out with. Um, I pre-ordered it and I, I, I got it. I love the knife. I just, within the last couple months, I found myself carrying it less and less. And, um, you know, I ended up selling it. I think, I think some of that money went, or most of that money went into getting this, um, a couple other things. And um, I just didn't carry it nearly as much as I do the um, Devo Knives Mash and the Devo Knives Buzz, which is, I think, the most recent um, model from them. It was a pre-order, and it, they, we got those a couple months ago by now. Um, but I just carried those a lot more, and I didn't carry the Stout as much. And I knew that the Stout V2 was coming out in the future, so if I wanted to get another Stout, I could always get one, you know, with more premium materials. Um, I believe this has fat carbon um, 
inlays or fat, col fat carbon scales, and I think it has S90V, um, or that's what the, you know, the production run will be. Um, so I'm selling it, but, you know, in the future, I might might try to pick one of these up on the pre-order, um, which I think is going to be coming here pretty soon. Um, of course, you get a Devo pouch, Devo knives sticker. Um, this has a Devo knives little ranger eye, and you get the Devo knives shop towel, which is nice. I love having those around. Um, I'm going to leave all that stuff in here. It also comes with a piece of paper. Oh, all right. So this is awesome. It's a nice printed out spec sheet and everything that we need to know for um, the upcoming drop. So thanks for taking the time to check out the V2 version of the Devo Stout. This is a prototype, so naturally there will be some changes, of course. Um, so there will be six versions total, which is really cool. They're doing four right-handed versions, which I'll go over this in the full review too. I'm only going to have this for a couple days before I ship it back out. Um, so I'm going to go over it twice. So you guys can have you know multiple videos to look back to try to find information from. It's going to have four right-handed models and two left-handed models. Um, but you know before I get into that, I will show you the knife so I don't leave you on, uh, on edge. But here it is, that beautiful um, purple haze fat carbon course switched from a uh, deep carry wire clip to a mill titanium pot clip that goes about that far into the pockets. You do have a little bit sticking about, but not terrible. Um, you have the, the filler tab, so you can switch it to lefty carry. You have that nice milling done here up on the bolster, which is really, really nice. Well, that pop of color on the pivot collar. It is a bolster lock. Again, you have that milling right there. Same hole, same blade shape for deployment, and that is just it feels almost lighter than the micarta one did and the micarta one was super light to begin with um very very great detent um, detent is stiff no blade play beautiful hollow grind i don't know what the, pro, uh, the prototype steel is but we're going to get to some specs here and i was wrong on the s90v you guys are probably going to like what they're going with even more um but just a beautiful blade shape you know you kind of have a you have a poon right there, kind of a sheep's foot worn cliff. It's just, you know, it's their own style of blade. And I think it's, mm, I figured they would have it on here. Um, I thought they had, uh, you know, their own name for it. But it's just, it's a beautiful blade. Again, hollow grind, very, very thin. Um, ergos, that was always one of my favorite things about the stout is how comfortable the ergos were. You have the poon up here if you want to reach up. You know, you can choke back a little bit, choke back fully. Um, fat carbon feels great. That detail, like I said, is super stiff, but, um, yeah, this is really, really cool. Uh, it's kind of, kind of making me miss my old stout. So if I had the funds, I might, might try to pull one of these on the pre-order. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go down the specs real, real quick. Um, and I guess I'm going to read all the specs. I'll just go over the different versions they're going to have of these. Um, and I will say the blade steel is going to be Vanex, which is really, really cool. Basically rust proof. Um, Quiet Carry uses Vanex on a lot of their models, such as their Waypoint and their Drift. Um, you know, it's a very, very cool steel. I believe it's Kevin's favorite steel, um, which is cool. So I'm really, that's a huge thing that I'm kind of excited for. Uh, and I think that, you know, them bringing Vanex to, you know, more folders than, you just don't see it that often. You know, Quiet Carry does production, you know, Vanex folders, and there's some other, maybe some other ones, but it is really kind of a barren kind of plane when it comes to Vanex on folders and production models and stuff like that. So seeing them bring Vanex to here, which I'm going to, you know, again, talk about in the full review on this knife or kind of the overview, because I won't have it in for that long. Um, but Vanex is just phenomenal. So um, there'll be, like I said, four right-handed and two left-handed. For the right-handed, you are going to have a purple fate Purple haze fat carbon inlays with purple pivot collars, bead blast, titanium bolsters, and belt satin blade, which is this same exact version here. So if you guys like this, this will be one of the pre-order options. You are going to have Arctic Storm fat carbon um, with a bead blast, titanium bolsters, blue pivot collar, and belt satin as well. So basically the same knife like this, just with blue pivot collars and um, Arctic Storm, which is blue and gray and white and stuff like that. Then you're going to have Arctic Storm, fat carbon inlays with blue pivot collars, bead blast titanium bolsters, and a stone wash blade. So you're gonna have two Arctic Storm fat carbons, one with a satin, one with a stone wash. 
Then finally, you're gonna have a white storm vat carbon with um, satin pivot collars, DLC coated titanium bolsters, and a two-tone DLC belt satin blade. So that's gonna be cool uh, with some black hardware and a black DLC coated blade. And then for the, uh, sorry, this video is a little bit drawn out. I just kind of want to give you guys this information. Um, so if you happen to not see my my overview on this in a couple days, um, two left-handed will have the Purple Haze Fat Carbon and the Arctic Storm Fat Carbon. Purple Haze having a belt satin and Arctic Storm having a stone wash blade. Um, and I'll go over the changes and all the, you know, the this like technical specs in the you know, overview. Um, but pre-order opens on 8-12, which today is July 31st. So it opens 13, about two weeks um, from yesterday, I think on a Sunday then. Um, of course at devonives.com, pre-order price is 325 but will be um, pretty limited with quantities. Uh, retail will be at 375, um, and that is because you know Kevin and Colin want to offer a very considerable discount for folks who pre-order because they truly appreciate you supporting the project. So a $50 um, difference in price is a really nice discount. Um, I think 325, which again I'll talk about this in the you know the overview. 325 for this is a very 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 fair price for the upgrades you're getting. Um, I think the original stout was like 280. So for 50 more dollars, basically you're getting, um, you know, a different steel. You know, you're going from I think it was 20 CV to Vanex. You're getting a milled clip. Um, you know, titanium bolsters, fat carbon. Like that's a very fair price, and um, I think they're gonna kill it with it. Um, you know, I didn't think I didn't think I was gonna get one, but now that I have one back in and I'm feeling how premium it feels. I might have to get one, but of course, um, you know, save all that for the full review. I've already taken up enough of your guys' time. So um, I will try to leave links to Vosteed's um, website down below for the Corsair and also DevoKnives.com if you want to check out the, um, you know, different things they have on there as well. But that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.